All right, boys, let's talk about passing settings. Everybody's been asking me what passing settings to use. We're passing, 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 passing. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl. Bro, what is up with these no guys? Super bummer, dude. One, still to be determined what exactly the best, but let me try to explain the different options to you first. Then I'll tell you guys exactly what I chose and what I liked the first week of playing the game or so and what I think is the most consistent. That's what I want. Now, there's some that there's some settings you can do to make more wild throws. If you want to lead your pass way further to the left or you want to do uh, throw the ball over linebackers better, I'll show you what settings are the best for that. Uh, but let's, uh, let's just explain these settings, get into them, boys, because essentially that's what you want to know. What changes is you go to option settings. There we is. There, it's not that difficult. Option settings, game options. All right. Um, passing. Passing mechanics. The new passing they have in the game, it's called revamped passing. All right. This is a new feature, new to College Football 25. I don't remember if it's in Madden 25. I don't know. Uh, but I know it's in College Football 25. I know that's what you're playing, and that's what you want to know what I think. And essentially for me, what I think about the passing is um, revamp. The classic passing controls, which is just press the button, and uh, it gives you more control of the arc of the pass with the ability to perfectly throw passes. So if you go with a medium pass or a, a, you know, a touch pass, you can do more different velocities. Based on ratings and pass contacts, the player can take some power off their throw to make more accurate passes. So if you want to hit that uh, that wide receiver in between the cover two maybe you can take a little air off the ball to get it over the corner uh that's essentially what revamp does and i will tell you the best way to practice this guys if you guys want to go practice it is in offense only i'm a big offense only guy uh, i'm a nerd but you know and i got right now i got oh I, I guess is this kyle mccord from ohio state is on syracuse i picked a random team got syracuse so i just give you i didn't want to play with you know the best quarterback but i mean even though McCord kind of let us down, us Ohio State fans, really. But, you know, here he is throwing the ball around, and this is what revamp can do. All you got to do is left stick, and you pass the ball. That's it. That's a full bullet pass. It'll be yellow. You know, so let's throw the crossing route here, just up on the stick. You get a good animation going forward. It looks like a good pass. Now let's try a pass lead on the, the vertical route all the way to the left. Nice. Oh, we missed it. And this is kind of what I've been experiencing with um revamp passing let's try to go and another one the other dude caught it that time i went all the way left and i didn't fill it up all the way and maybe i don't know so i'll try to get a little bit of touch i went one full power one without full power both of them were overthrown another one was overthrown there so this is essentially what i experienced the first couple days with revamp passing as we go, that was a nice little pass lead to the inside on that route. But essentially, it's, you're supposed to be able to like throw a little, a little touch pass over there, a little bit higher trajectory if you don't go full bullet pass. And that's essentially, I think, what they're going for. And it's something you couldn't really do before, like that medium pass. Like everybody knows you could throw a lob or you can throw a bullet, obviously. But you know, you want to be able to do that medium pass, maybe down the sideline here. Nice. It's a nice pass lead. So that's essentially the beauty of the revamp passing. But you guys see the couple overthrows that I got, and I'm kind of a, a stickler in that. That's enough for me. You know, I've had enough. So that's why the first the first week or so I have abandoned this revamp passing. One, I think my players are open, so I don't really need it. And I got more misses with revamps. And so that gives us we can go to classic, which if you're still on classic, you need to get with the times. I, when, when they first changed passing, I, I stayed on classic and it was a mistake. If you're using classic passing, make sure you guys either switch to revamped, which is cool, uh, or switch to the placement and accuracy. This is what I use as placement and accuracy. It should look familiar because it is on Madden. This is what's on Madden, boys. This is what I use. And I use the same reticle speed on Madden as I do here. Just so I'm used to it. I mean, I know there's a lot of new people that are playing college football that haven't played Madden in the last couple of years, but I, most of us have. But this is what I use, placement and accuracy. So uh, it kind of does a little bit of the same thing. I tried different pass lead increase, and I, it m made more misses. I mean, 
it's pretty simple to me in the pa this passing mechanics. You know, you might be able to make great throws, different throws if I max this out, pass lead large, reticle speed, and I, I can just go crazy here, right? I might be able to do, like, you know, more wild things with the ball, essentially. Like, I might be able to put it back shoulder, whatever you want. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm missing every throw now. But uh, essentially, my point is, when I'm playing Madden and I'm playing offense, I don't want to miss, all right? I don't want to miss the easy throws. I don't want to miss... I want to make sure I'm hitting solid throws. I don't need you to be Patrick Mahomes on the run, throwing the ball back shoulder perfectly 50 yards down the field. I want to make sure I'm hitting every single pass. I don't want to make sure I'm getting RNG'd or I'm or I'm getting you know fluked by the passing system. We're going to get fluked by the game enough. Now, there might be skill. Some people say, oh, the passing is a skill with those settings or high settings. You might be right, and that's a skill you know maybe I don't have. I don't need to get that skill. I have enough skill reading defenses, calling plays, making plays in the open field. Uh, so for me, I just want to make sure I can get the, the, the ball in my guy's hands as fast as I can, as quick as I can. And with placement accuracy, what you want to do is you want to hit a blue pass or a green pass. Right there you see a green pass, McCord. And some quarterbacks like Carson Beck on Georgia, they'll give you an automatic blue pass every time. So if you hold RB down too much, sometimes you'll get a red pass or a yellow pass. A yellow pass is more dice rolled depending on your quarterback. Like if you were the bad quarterback and you get a yellow pass, then that's going to be tough. Right there, we got a blue pass. If you, if you see the meter, you want to kind of hit it in that green spot. Like when I'm getting full greens, that means I'm going all the way. You kind of want to stop it before it gets all the way to the meter. And then you'll get that nice blue. It's even tough for me. And that will help you if you're with a lesser quarterback for sure. That one was a green. That one was a little bit before the meter. And just practice. Like I said, the best place to practice this is over here in blue pass right there. Boom. Right over here is in offense only, man. There's no pass rush. There's no nothing. You can just practice what type of pass lead you can get. And I think this settings that I use, I get enough pass lead. I really do. Like we could look at A right now. I just went back. Push them to the right, pass lead to the right, maybe away from man coverage, away from a zone. And then if I want to, if I want to bring them back to the left, we're getting a decent pass lead right there. You know, I don't think in this game I need much more than that. Uh, if I'm if I'm struggling or maybe down the line, maybe I'll go try to get something different. But right now I'm loving the passing. I'm loving it's doing enough for me. So I'll show you guys these settings again. Options settings. These are the settings that I'm using on College Football 25. Placement and accuracy, reticle speed on seven, pass lead increase. I even tried it on small and I started missing throws. Maybe you guys are better than me and you can try medium, large, but I don't want to miss easy throws. This is the easiest way for you not to get incomplete passes. That's how I feel. I'd rather have a solid, solid settings rather than try to be, do too much. I don't think you need to do too much with the quarterback. And these are the settings that I'm using here on College Football 25. Thank <laughs> you.